Welcome to the Indiana State Capitol. This building has stood in downtown Indianapolis since 1888, when it was completed after 10 years. Our architects, Edwin May and Adolph Scheer, created this Renaissance Revival style building for $1,980,969. That's just under their $2 million budget. Whenever possible, they use building material from Indiana. You see the whole inside of our rotunda here is Indiana limestone from the southern part of our state. Also, the outside of the building is made from Indiana limestone. We have gorgeous woodworks and doors throughout the building that are white oak, also a product of Indiana. The floors are marble. We don't have marble in Indiana, so they brought the white marble from Italy. The black and the red came from the east coast of the United States. The white marble pillars, which are on all three floors, came from the state of Vermont. They're Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian style pillars. The granite pillars that surround the rotunda came from the state of Maine. And in front of each massive pillar, you find a nine foot statue. Each statue represents a different attribute. And all of the attributes together, we call the attributes of a civilized society. We have two men, law and oratory. We have agriculture, commerce, justice, liberty, history, and art. As you look around, you may notice that one of them is different from the rest. Only one was modeled for, and that's our Miss Justice. Her name was Mary Wilson. She was married to a judge. They lived down in Bedford, Indiana, and their family had some connections to the limestone industry in that part of the state. Our artist was Alexander Doyle, an American artist, whose family also had connections to the limestone quarries in southern Indiana, which we think is probably part of the reason why Mary Wilson was given the honor of modeling for Miss Justice. However, we have also found many letters and newspaper articles that say she was the most beautiful woman in Indiana at the time. So Mary Wilson is our statue of Miss Justice. The beautiful window, as you look straight up, is original. It's 105 feet from the floor of the rotunda to the center of the window, and it spans 72 feet. It was part of a major renovation back when the building was about to turn 100 years old. They wanted to celebrate that, but when they looked around, the building did not look very nice, evidently. They decided to fix it up, and when they did, they did a, a historical renovation. It took two years and spent almost $11 million, but everything you see in the open areas here look as much like 1888 as possible, including that window. They had to clean that beautiful window, which at the time was just a big gray dome. They couldn't even really tell how glorious the colors were. Also, you'll notice the sconces and the chandeliers. All of the ones within view are reproductions that happened during that renovation. On the fourth floor, if you come and visit us in person, you can see those are the actual originals. But when you look at these lights, keep in mind that this building opened in 1888, and when it did, it was one of the largest and most modern buildings in the whole country. It had forced air heat, it had elevators, and it was wired with electricity. Only problem was there was an issue with the electricity, and that was that we did not have a power plant in Indianapolis that could create enough power to light our huge new building. So they had to start out with gas jet candles. If you look at the lights, all of the lights that are turned up were originally gas jet candles. Everything that was turned out or down was ready to go. And by the turn of the century, a new power plant was built and they were able to turn on the electricity in this building. We have one display in here uh, that we're especially proud of, especially as our state is turning uh, a 200 years old very soon. This display case at the moment holds some very old documents. One of those documents establishes the city, the state capital city as Indianapolis. We came from a little town in Corridon, Indiana, way down in the southern part of the state, and we moved our state capital here in 1825. We have the official paperwork that made that legal. We also have the official paperwork that created the, the commission to build this very building. But on the birthday of the state, which is December 11th, we will be having a huge celebration in here, and the archivist will bring our original constitution to this building. 
and then he will take his documents back to the archives and he will install the Constitution in this case for about six months so that visitors can come and see the original Constitution. The case itself cost $25,000 to build and our wonderful Bar Association of Indiana paid for that. It is very special because it's fireproof and waterproof for the humidity is controlled, the temperature is controlled, because we have to be very careful with these very valuable and irreplaceable documents. The other interesting thing about the case is that you can see it is constructed in part from wood. And that's not just any wood. There is a legend, there is a story that when our first delegates met down in Corridon to write our Constitution, they often met out in the city in different places in this little town. One of them was under an elm tree that's set in somebody's yard, a huge elm tree. Well, there was so much talk going on under the elm tree that people started to call that elm tree the constitutional elm tree. It became as famous as the capital city. Well, unfortunately, it did at, in 1925 die and had to be cut down, but people were very, very good about saving the wood. We have some wonderful historians that saved the wood from that tree. So when it's time to construct this case, this is in the year 2000, they're deciding what it looks like. They discover there is some wood left from that very constitutional elm. So when the Constitution goes into this case on December 11th, it's going right back under the tree where some of it was written. Thank you for visiting. Please come back and see the rest of the building with us.